Hi guys and welcome to episode three of Thoughtful Thursdays. One of the things I've been thinking about recently and I have done over a couple of winters now is that we prepare loads in the nets as batters and bowlers but we don't necessarily prepare a lot as fielders. Now one of the things that we kind of neglect is our preparation of our hands to be ready to catch balls when we get outside so I'm sure there would have been a lot of cricketers last weekend having not caught ball in a few weeks that all of a sudden start to develop hot spots in their hands, bruises and areas that are already painful going into the rest of the season. So what we're going to have a look at now is a couple of strategies that we can go with to make sure that we can get our hands a little bit softer and more pliant ready for when we need to be catching a lot of balls. So the first thing we're going to look at, I've got this nice soft ball here, these really old balls you can keep. If you can keep them dry after they've been used, they become nice and soft on the outside then. They may not be much used for batting or bowling, but they're certainly really good use for then starting to throw around in your hands, just starting to soften your hands up. And the more that you can do this over time across all your, your hands, making sure that you kind of get the ball into the palm, but also in and around the joints as well, just to toughen them up a little bit, because the more that we do this, the better getting into the season. And then what we look to do is you then, once you've done that with a soft ball over time, you can then look to have a slightly harder ball as well. So the harder outside will then toughen them up a little bit more. One of the balls that I don't unfortunately have that is great for this are indoor balls. Because they're nice and soft on the inside, but they're rock hard on the outside. So you get a real sting and slap when you throw the ball in. But it really helps get your hands ready. So you can probably hear that now, that sound into my hands. Where I'm just looking at to toughen up my hands as we go. So the next stage we can look at then is working with someone at home and your family or getting a friend just to start chucking you a couple of balls. Now it doesn't really matter what sort of height you look to catch these on. All we want to do is just feel the ball come into our hands. We want to make sure that the ball is thrown fairly forcefully over a short distance to make sure that you're preparing your hands. This isn't about learning how to catch. This is about preparing your hands to catch a lot of balls. Oh. There we go. Well, I'll edit that one out. <laughs> Sorry. You, you can't throw straight. Now, depending upon how detailed you want to get on this, you may feel that catching conventionally in reverse hand, you start to develop different hot spots in your hand. So you may want to have a go, having some above your head as well, just so you can <laughs> we'll have another go, just so you can start to develop a little bit of resistance in your hands so they feel nice and pliant. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave us some feedback. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and then give us a like on Twitter and Instagram.